Canada and Russia for the gold medal at the 2020 World Junior Hockey Championship. Um, I couldn't even explain to you, you know, what the feeling was in the moment. You know, it felt crazy. I kind of knew I had probably had one more shift. I was thinking about scoring, literally just on the bench saying, I'm going to score, I'm going to score, and I'm going to have one more shift. Like, I might as well score. Now move to hit. In comes Thomas with a chance. Move the buddy scores! Akil Thomas has given Canada the lead. With less than four minutes to go in the third period. His first goal of this World Junior Hockey Championship. So I've been really wanting to ask you this question, that gold medal game against Russia, you know, tie game, and then you score the game-winning goal. How did it feel at that moment? Kill Thomas has given Canada the lead! Yeah, um, you know, it felt crazy. Uh, you know, I wasn't, uh, wasn't playing like a ton that game. Um, I ended up getting called out there, and um, that happened pretty quick, obviously, and um, I couldn't even explain to you, you know, what the feeling was in the moment. I just didn't know what to do. I was just, I was full of excitement. It's just something you can't really put into words. So I'm just going to show you this photo and um, can you explain to me what it is? One of the, like the first, uh, you know, black hockey league yeah. uh, that was created, I think, in Nova Scotia. It's a league that not that many people know about. It's one of the first leagues I like, ever created for hockey, so I don't think people know about that either. But it means something to me, obviously, because uh, you know a lot of people had to pave the way for um, you know colored hockey players like myself. Recently, there was an incident between two AHL players. Boko Imana was called a racial slur by Brandon Manning. Now, Manning was suspended five games after this incident. How did this make you feel? Saying anything racial is you know not okay today, and. Yeah. I'm happy that, you know, I know Boko and I'm happy that he stepped up for himself. Boko, Amama, and Brandon Manning are going to go center ice. If they want to call us racial stuff, then, you know, hopefully they get repercussion for it. Obviously, he got suspended and then, you know, obviously Boko wanted to fight him after, so. You look back to 1999, 20 years ago, when Donald Brashear was called a monkey by another player. Now, this player was suspended one game compared to Brandon Manning, who was suspended five games. Do you think that the hockey world is taking racism more seriously than ever? You look at, you look at social media and, uh, you know, if someone gets suspended or someone calls someone something, then, you know, everyone finds out about it just because of, you know, the way social media is today. So yeah. I think uh, problems are more amplified and um, more people find out about it. So there's more of a microscope on it. So social media is kind of like, like a good thing for this? For point. this issue, yeah, yeah, I think it is because um, you know, everyone can find out about something in, in one tweet. How does it make you feel knowing that now, of course, you know, with the talent that you have, you get accepted right away? Or yeah. they had to, you know, they went through a lot just to play the sport that they love? Um, it, it's, it's huge. Um, obviously, you look at guys like Will Ri and uh, you kind of see how much they went through and yeah. how they weren't really accepted just because of the color of their skin. And, you know, it's 2020 and uh, I've been I've been only really targeted racially um, in like hockey games a couple of times, like not too many. And um, guys like Larry would probably go through it like once every couple of games. So um, pretty grateful for them, for them. And you know, obviously, without them, um, you know, I don't know if I'd be here or not. So. Yeah.